So how are you guys doing? Everything good? Yeah. Good. Good. This is going to be a lot of fun, guys. So um, I know it's it's tough uh, when when people cancel. Um, I always like to explain it in our job. Um, you know, KJ could have had could have been scheduled uh, to not work this weekend, and all of a sudden there could be a situation where it was raining where he was, and they had to switch seats around to accommodate weather or whatever. And so that happens quite a bit. But um, they were able to get Vanessa and Madeline in, which is really cool. You guys will love them. Uh, Rob Rako's here. Martin's here. Um, Tierra's here. I think uh, Hart is coming in as well. So it's going to be a lot of fun. So, um, you know, we always just want to let you guys know how much we appreciate, you know, the fact that you, you follow the show and you're, you know, you're devoted to it and the characters and stuff because we, uh, we love creating these characters for you. Um, me personally, I'm not really the Black Hood, so you don't have to sit way away from me. <laughs> you know, it's just a guy I created. Um, so anyhow, I think we should get the ball rolling here, get the get the weekend on the go. Just so you know, we have, um, you know, uh, the, there will be Q and A's, there will be the autographs areas. Um, Martin and I have tables set up um, to meet everyone um, out in the foyer somewhere. I believe it's by where the merchandise stuff is, but. Um, and, you know, just look for us. We'll be at our tables and doing that. And then, of course, we have the big karaoke tonight. I hope you guys are all coming to that because it's always a lot of fun. Uh, all, you know, most of the cast will be here to do that as well. And uh, so we'll just have a really fun weekend and, um, you know, try to answer as many questions as we can for you guys and, you know, just engage and um, enjoy ourselves. So uh, thanks so much for coming out, guys. We really, uh, we really appreciate our fan base. So... Uh, without further ado, let me introduce this young woman to you. Um, I don't know if you remember in the first season, I happened to send her away to this place. Uh, I don't know if that was a good decision. I was trying to protect a secret. You remember, you know, the blossom blood and all that? It was a bad Alice, decision. what's that? It was a bad decision. It was, yeah, bad decision. You know, that's the, old, that's the one thing so far in the show that I... That I that I wish they would have written, and maybe they will. Um, that I never got a chance to explain to Polly why I made that decision, because um, I always thought that'd be a nice sort of full circle and closure of that little story arc. But uh, hopefully that'll happen. I do apologize to her almost every time that I see her at these conventions. But I always go, "Tierra, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I just felt like you know having a, your your cousin's baby wasn't a good thing." <laughs> Anyhow, you guys, uh, this is a, a wonderful young lady. Um, she's a fellow Canadian, and uh, I just have a lot of fun working with her. She's sweet, she's talented, and she's uh, a very, very pretty young woman. So please uh, give a warm welcome to Tierra Scobie, please. Thank you. Are you on? Are you on? Hello. There you go. Anyhow, great crowd, Tierra. Enjoy. Guys, go gentle on her. She's still waking up. She's got her coffee or her tea, whatever she's got, but enjoy. Thanks, guys. We'll see you in just a bit. Hello, everybody. Good morning. How's everyone doing? Wow, we're quiet this morning, aren't we? Okay, I'm quiet, too. Everyone got their tea, their coffee? Okay, let's wake up together. So, any questions? was when we were filming the baby shower scene because all of us were together, which was really fun. Uh, it was a big group and we were filming right really late at night. And I always find those so much fun to film because you kind of, kind of feels like you're at like summer camp, you're like all together, it's late, you're tired, but you're like doing something that you love. And we were all like a little loopy by the end of filming that scene, but it was really fun. Thank you, I love you. <laughs> Do you and Lily have like a real sister bond? In real life? Yes. Yeah, we get along really well. And we kind of did like right from the beginning, which is kind of cool. So yeah, we, we've always, 
you know, had a lot of fun filming together, and a majority of my stuff has been with her, and it's been it's been really fun. She's so she's so lovely. We get along really well. It was really different, and it was it was interesting because I was filming both at the same time. So there was like some weeks where I do like Monday Riverdale, Tuesday Once Upon a Time, Wednesday Riverdale, Thursday Once Upon a Time, Friday Riverdale. And by the end, I was like, I don't even know who I am anymore. Um, <laughs> but uh, the characters were really different, and what it, it made it quite easy for me to kind of jump between the two because, like, obviously on Once Upon a Time, my wardrobe was very different. And the character I was playing was very much a, you know, character. And so it was very easy to kind of like jump into that with the help of like the hair, makeup, wardrobe, and then to go to Riverdale was, it was all very different. But they were fun because they were like completely different characters from each other. And so it was really interesting like jumping between the two. Thank you so much. Uh, there was your favorite person in a work with? I spent a lot of time working with Lily and Machen, um, and I, I can't pick a favorite. I've, I've loved everybody that I've worked with. I, I do spend a majority of my time working with them, so I've got, definitely gotten the closest with them. So yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Love you. Hi. Hi. Um, I was just curious, when Alice put Polly's babies over the fire, why did she do that? Well, I mean, I was there too. No, like, <laughs> I, I just, um, why did we do that? I'm, I'm not sure. Oh, thank you. <laughs> we did it, but it never really got explained whether it was like part of an illusion, like part of a, not an illusion, a, like a hypnosis, like a hallucination. Thank you, that's the word I was looking for. Part of a hallucination or if it actually happened, you know? My question is, how long does it usually take you to memorize your lines? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I usually, I have gotten very good at memorizing lines very quickly. Um, usually what I do is I'll read the script for the episode like three or four times before I film. And by that point, I've kind of got it in my head a decent amount. And then the night before and the morning of filming, I'll run it a bunch of times and then I've, I've usually got it. Do you ever wish that you got to play a different character during the show? On Riverdale? Mm -hmm. Well, it was funny because I auditioned for Betty. Uh -oh. And I, I, <laughs> um, I was a huge Archie comic fan as a kid. And so when I knew that they were making a show, I got very overexcited and totally bombed my audition. And then they decided to bring me in for Cheryl, which <laughs> I literally did the first scene. And it was the, the scene um, oh, I can't remember what it was. It was from the first season, and they, I, I did it. It was supposed to be like like a meaner scene, and I left, and the casting director was like, "Well, oh, you're so nice," and I was like, "I'm not getting this part." <laughs> um, and <laughs> but I mean, I I'm happy that I landed on the show, and that you know, Polly's has been a very interesting character and kind of you know mysterious and a lot going on. So I'm I'm happy with Polly. In the end. <laughs> My question was, uh, who do you spend most of your time with the, in the Riverdale cast? Um, lately, it's been mostly Lily and Machen. Yeah, because with the farm and it, so this season was or last season was mostly Machen, but now, but it, I think Lily too. What's your favorite season? Season one. <laughs> I love season one. There was like so much happening and like unraveling. It was really fun. Um, can you give us like any insider information about what might happen next season or like, what happens? <laughs> so you want me to give you all the spoilers? <laughs> I can't do that. I'll get fired. And I'll like ruin it for you. <laughs> also, I don't know anything. So, there's that too. Hi, Tiara. Hi. 
and they came from Russia. And my question is, who is your friend in real life from Liberty? Who are my friends? Yes. Hmm. I'm, I mean, we're all kind of friends. We, we've all worked together, we've all hung out outside of work. Um, I am, there's a few people on the show that I knew from before the show, like Jordan Connor and Lachlan. I knew before we started filming, just from, you know, we live in the same city. Uh, so that's kind of cool, working on a show where you like, already know people. Thank you, thank you. Uh, you look really young, but I was going to ask you if the sweats are actually yours, like your kids. Sorry, say that again? <laughs> oh. I was going to ask you if the twins are actually yours, like your kids. Like mine? <laughs> I mean, unless we mi missed nine months where I grew a little bit. Um, no, they are not actually mine. We've actually, with the twins, we've actually had four sets of twins while filming because we, our time span doesn't happen as fast as real babies grow. So we've had to have more sets of twins come in to keep them looking the same age on the show. Hi, uh, what was your first impression of Lily? Oh, my, so my very first day of meeting Lily was the day where we filmed the scene in the Rose Garden where I find out that Jason's dead. Um, that was my first day on set that morning filming that scene and I was so nervous and hadn't slept the night before and we were filming outside and it was super emotional. And Lily was so kind and so sweet and so patient and like, made me feel really welcome, like, right away. So my first impression of her was she was just lovely and, like, made me feel really at ease with building such a hard scene. Thank you. Will you be back in season four? I hope so. I mean, unless the farm has eaten me, and that's just the end of that. But I, I think so. brought out in the hypnosis um, in the farm that brought up Betty's dark side or trying to bring her out. Mm -hmm. um, does Polly have any unresolved grudges against Betty? I mean, I feel like there's a lot about Polly that we don't know that hasn't really been explored. So I wonder if, you know, I wonder if the reason that she did that to Betty was because, you know, she was kind of manipulated by Edgar into doing what he said was best for Betty and she maybe genuinely thought that that was some, somehow helping her. Or maybe she does have some issues with Betty that she hasn't talked about, that we haven't heard about. Um, I'm sure there's some stuff that's unresolved and, you know, kind of messed up still within that family, but we don't, <laughs> we don't really know. Hello. Hi. I was wondering, how far in advance do you get the scripts? Mm, it depends. You know, um, usually they try and give it to us like three or four days before we start filming, but there's always changes that come up like while we're filming. So we'll get new drafts of the script throughout filming the episode. Things change, lines change. Um, but usually, you know, a, a few days in advance, sometimes closer to the end when we're like, cramming and, and writing things really quickly. We don't get them till like two days before, which can be a little bit difficult, but they try and give us as much notice as they can. So you don't know the storyline in advance, you just know it as you shoot it? I mean, we get a rough idea of kind of what's gonna happen, um, like a rough storyline, but then again, like those storylines always are changing. So anything they tell us from the beginning could be completely different by the end. Well, that's one thing I've noticed with the show is it, it just like you alluded to the scene with the babies and holding up a birth. It's like it never goes back to that and explains it. And I think it would be really neat to have backstories of a lot of it and explain it. So yeah. I'm just curious if y'all, you know, if that happens a lot because it seems like it does when you're watching. You're like, wait a minute, what happened to that? Yeah, exactly. So, We're like that. So you too. feel the same way? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, hi, so I was wondering, what was your, like, what was the most episode, like, I, I can't speak today. <laughs> what was your favorite episode to film? Hmm. I think, like I said earlier, my, you, usually my favorite one is always the baby shower scene. I liked it because it was one of my only scenes where I got to actually work with everybody, which was really fun. Oh, okay. um, 
yeah, it was like a big group. There was a lot going on. We were all kind of there late together, that whole episode. Of, yeah, it's a really fun one. All right, thank you. Thank you. Hi. Um, what built you up to be um, an amazing actor or on Riverdale? Sorry? What? What built you up to be an amazing actor on Riverdale? What builds me up to be? Um, I think a big thing when it comes to working on a show, especially with the big ensemble cast, is you know, what allows us actors to be good at our jobs is I, good writing, you know, working with really, with other really good actors. And I feel like with Riverdale, you know, we've constantly got really interesting material to work with and we're working with such an amazing group of people that I think that helps, you know, make us all better. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> Do you ever watch the show? Do I ever watch the show? Um, I watch pieces. It's actually funny. I so for this last week, so I was filming a show in Toronto for four months, and then I moved back home last weekend, and I rented out my apartment in Vancouver, so I've been staying with my parents. And my dad is watching the show right now. I like came home the other night. And I was like, "Are you watching Riverdale?" And he's like, "Yeah, I gotta get caught up to stuff." <laughs> so I, 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 I kind of haven't watched it in order, but I'll like sit down sometimes and watch like sits here and there and I like watched an episode with him the other day which was cute. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Um, who were you most excited to work with before you started filming? Hmm. I, I was I was just really excited to be on the show and to kind of you know work work with everybody. I didn't know anybody when I started and so I was just like, you know, I was excited to just start and work with anybody. <laughs> oh, hi. Hi. Um, if there was someone you could have filmed with more in the cast, who would it have been? Mm. So I was a huge Molly Ringwald fan growing up, like big time, and I never got to work with her. I think I met her once at like a table reader in hair and makeup or something, and I was going to tell her how much of an inspiration she was to me, and all I could get out was, hi, and then I walked away. <laughs> Um, and so probably her. I, I like a regret not being able to speak words around her. Um, and yeah, it would have been really fun to you know like work with somebody that I was such an idol to me growing up. Thank you. Um, do you know who killed Jason Blossom and like who the um, Black Hood was beforehand when you first started? No. So during season one, we were all like, you know. The, the, the cast that wasn't, you know, the main cast who are in contract who know that they're not going to be killed off. Whereas, like, I'm not in a contract, so, like, every episode I was like, oh my gosh, okay, it wasn't me, I didn't kill him. I'm not, like, because you, you don't know, and they're kind of writing it as they go, and storylines and, and, and characters change so much throughout the course of a season, so, you know, there's a lot of times where they're like, yeah, it's not you, but then that could change. Um, or you've died, but you come back as a twin. Um, so, yeah, we, we were all like reading it and, and discovering it as we go. Almost like you guys, when, you, when you're watching it, that's how we are with the scripts. We're just like, oh my gosh, what happens? Who is it? Thank you. Thank you. What was your first thought when you seen the scene where the babies, the twins, were held over the fire? <sighs> my first thought. I, I feel like there. I feel like by that point I was kind of like, okay. <laughs> like you just kind of are like, you know, it, nothing is like too shocking to a certain extent. But it definitely was. I I like you guys. You know, I'm curious as to like to see more backstory about like that. They get a bit more of an explanation on that. Thank you. <clears throat> Hello. Hi. Are you going to start doing crossovers with like Sabrina and Nancy Drew and all those other characters? I mean, people ask that all the time. It's so close. So the towns are really close. I, I imagine that we will at some point. I mean, anything's possible at this point. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Should I start asking you guys questions then? <laughs>